that are believers. And so the subtitle is An Inside Look at the Faith that Drives the St. Louis Cardinals. And uh, this isn't uh, just for Cardinals fans. It's for anybody who enjoys sports and also wants to know about the players and how they handle and their co- and the coaches who are Christians and how they handle life and their profession. Uh, Rob, I, I'd ask you before the break. Uh, you know, these guys uh, are, uh, you know, they're looked up to, they're idolized, uh, shouldn't be. Uh, oftentimes, but that's just the way of the world here in modern day America. Athletes are are, are given a, a pedestal. Uh, how do these guys handle the adulation and the you know the fame and notoriety? And everybody wants your autograph. They want you to appear at their event. They you know they cheer you. Fifty thousand people every game. That kind of thing. I think I think you do a couple of things. I think number one, the answer you get from most of those guys is the game itself will humble you <laughs> in a hurry. You know, as, as soon as you think you're on top of the world winger, I talked about that in the start uh, this year. He's four outs away from a no hitter, and he's like thinking, you know, maybe God, is this the time that it's really going to happen or whatever? And boom, then it comes a couple of hits. You know, and says, you know, I should have known. You know, that as soon as I started thinking that way, you know, right. it's going to knock me down. So, you know, so I think that's number one because there's never been you know a player who never made it out or or you know got every batter out that he ever faced. I mean, so that's the answer that you'll get is that the game itself will humble you. But beyond that, I think, I think again, it gets back to their faith and the fact that these guys, when they re- leave the ballpark, in most cases, their fathers, their husbands, their, you know, sons and uh, of great families. So, I mean, I think brothers, they, they have other roles in their life that they have to fulfill beyond being a baseball player. And, yes, being a baseball player gives them the freedom and the opportunity to live live very well and to have great lives but i think they also realize that they have an obligation and responsibility you know because of of other roles in their life i mean you know wainwright will tell you and berkeley will tell you the most, my most important job is not being a baseball player it's being uh, a husband and a father matt holiday says the same thing and, and that's one of the things i think that is neat about the cardinals and probably maybe again is a little bit different uh, than some other clubs is these guys that have young sons you know, and I'm talking, you know, eight-year-old kids or five-year-old kids, whatever. Those clubs are kids are around the clubhouse a lot. You know, they're they're in there before the games. They're they're on the field before the games when they start to take batting practice. So, and the club encourages that. So, you know, I think that 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 helps them kind of fulfill both roles at the same time. Rob, thanks so much for your time. And I know the Cardinals are in first place, so everybody's happy in St. Louis right now. <laughs> Oh, you got a lot of nitpicky people. We're not happy unless they're going 162 and all and winning them all by 10 runs, you know. All right. Well, you got to keep your expectation level high. So, anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, thank you, Rob. Appreciate the time. Thank all you, right. guys. You're welcome. Rob Rains joining us there from St. Louis. Uh, 